campus as the GDSE VSSUT lead. And, uh, and today I'm here to help you delve into what uh, Google Developer Student Clubs is all about. And uh, we'll be getting to know about our timelines and the various events that we have planned for you. So I hope you all are excited and uh, even I'm excited to look for, looking forward to interact with you guys. So uh, without having much of ado, uh, let's uh, begin with our uh, session and uh, I'm presenting my screen. I hope my screen is uh, visible. Just one of you let me know in the chat box or can unmute and let me know. Yes, Arisha, your screen, your screen is visible. Okay, fine. So. Okay, so first we have some ground rules before we start and uh, let me read it out to you. First is, let us know if you're having any issues with audio or video, you can freely mention it in the chat box. And uh, we have a very well-structured Q&A session at the end. So in case of any doubts or silliest of your queries, you can shoot them at the FAQ session. I request all of you to please use the chat box for any kind of queries. You are free to spam anything you feel like, but be respectful to fellow attendees and do not use any offensive language. Lastly, I request all of you to fill up the feedback form that will be uh, notified to you at the end of this event. So here we are done with the ground rules. Moving on to the next slide. Today we have amongst us Ms. Rajrita Nath, our esteemed seniors, our awesome juniors, and everyone attending this event. I, Abhipsha Swain, once again welcome each one of you to our info session titled Unveil GDSE VSSUT 21-22 with its tagline, Connect, Learn, and Grow. So let's get started. So uh, let me tell you all that uh, we have Dr. Harish Kumar Sahu, sir, as our faculty advisor. He is the associate professor in the Department of Electronics and Telecommunication. He has been an active member promoting student activities in our college and has always encouraged us to explore new fields in an innovative way. And uh, he was supposed to attend our event, but I'm very sorry, he's stuck in some official work. So he'll be joining uh, towards the end, he will be joining us. So we'll have him uh, at the end of this event. So for the time being, let me skip this slide. So here's to the attendees. Here's the time to spam. I've got a task for you. All you have to do is spam with a yes or no in the chat box. Uh, and questions will be appearing on the screen. So first is, have you ever got stuck with an idea? Feel free to spam with a yes or no. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Are you all dedicated towards technology? Do you want to skill up and expertise in any domain? Okay, lastly, 
Do you wish to create impact in the tech community? So if your answer to all these questions is a yes, then you're at the right place, investing your time in the right direction. All you need is a community of like-minded individuals to work and learn with enthusiasm. And GDSE, that is Google Developer Student Clubs, at our campus is here to cater it all. Are you all excited to know about GDSE? So let me tell you that uh, Google Developer Student Clubs are basically community groups that facilitates community learning, promotes support, and instigates a passion for technology that can create wonders. And as our tagline says, we aim to connect, that is, bring like-minded individuals to a common platform. We aim to learn, where we'll support and provide resources to make an individual skilled in various domain sets which will eventually help us to grow both professionally and get enriched personally. And here at VSSUT Burla, we offer every possible support to help you bridge the gap between academics and real world skill implementation. Moving on to the next slide, you, might, you all might be wondering that what all things we bring in for you. So let me tell you, You'll be getting ample awareness of opportunities, peer-to-peer -peer learning environment, exposure to newer skills, hackathons, tech events, hands-on sessions, webinars, workshops, and many more are waiting for you. All you need to do is stay curious and have the desire to extract the most of it. And here we have the list of domains that we shall be working on throughout the year. They are Android development, web development, ML, AI, AR, VR, and everything else that you can spot on the screen. So we'll be working out throughout the year implementing technology for bringing on uh, effective solutions. Also, don't forget to join our Discord channel where we have created uh, different channels for uh, various domains. So you, you are free to put forth any queries there. You can share resources, articles, and if you have any ideas, you can share it there as well. We have mentors and guides who will be uh, assisting you and helping out to get through it. Now, after all these, you all might be wondering that, uh, am I the only one uh, working for Google Developer Student Clubs for our university? Or uh, some questions like, uh, who is going to mentor you and guide you? So let me tell you that I'm not alone in the way. We have really highly proficient uh, core team members in our GDAC cabinet 2122. And they are all going to be your mentors and they're going to guide you in the best possible way. And I must say, they are all the pillars of our club. Well, with this, I would like to request Ashish Kumar Bhaira, one of our uh, core team members leading uh, the core team, leading the GDSE cabinet as uh, the Kotlin head. So I request Ashish to proceed over with the next slides. Thank you, Isha. So let me check like audible. Yes, yes, you're audible. Okay. So good evening, guys. Uh, I am Ashish Kumar Behra from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And currently, I am the Kotlin lead of GDAC VSSUT 2021. So before proceeding further, let me first uh, brief you about a few of our last events. So uh, VSSUT Bulla got a chance to set up Developer Students Club, which is now Google Developer Student Clubs last year. So last year, we had an amazing tenure with ample of events, hands-on sessions, workshops, speaker sessions, and many more. So a few of our events are uh, there on the slides, as you can see. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. 
So these are few of our events. So as you can see, here is a lift off C, which was a month long programming event, and then dive into Android, a hands on session on Android development. Next, we had speaker sessions and uh, workshops on the topics like Git and GitHub, code and automation, and many more. And nevertheless, uh, we are back again this year with 10 times more enthusiasm and rigor to give you all enough tech exposure to flourish. So as you can see, here is our timeline specifying few Google technology specific events like uh, cloud campaign, so this is uh, going to start in the month of September to October. This is a high performance infrastructure for cloud computing, data analytics, and machine learning. In this channel, uh, basically participants are going to introduce about Google Cloud Platform along with Quick Labs. So next we have Android campaign in the month of October to November which is designed for a group of people in the community to come together to learn how to build Android apps. And moving further, in the month of December, we have Flutter campaign. It will be a rigorous training session on Flutter toolkit to build beautiful native applications on iOS and Android as well from a single code base. So next, uh, we have solution challenge in the duration from January to March. We'll be right back in this session in the coming slides. And coming to next, uh, we will having our second cloud campaign in between February to March. Then we'll be organizing a web campaign in the month of April, which is designed for the people with all levels of experience in web development. And this initiative will help you to get started with web dev and learn the most important aspects through expert curated content. And at last but not the least, we will have our ML campaign in the month of May. So let me tell you something. Uh, did you know that the adoption of machine learning results in two times more data-driven decisions, five times faster decision making, and three times faster execution? Well, in this campaign, you will get to know how to implement the latest ML and AI technologies by exploring training on BigQuery, TensorFlow, Cloud Vision, NLP, and many more. Apart from these events, we'll be organizing exciting events on augmented and virtual reality, cybersecurity, and IoT. So apart from these, we have decided to work on building up some amazing projects. We have planned up various knowledge-oriented sessions that will boost every individual towards uplifting their skills. So next slide, please. Okay, so GDC organizes the solution challenge to build up effective solutions to the global problems. So in this slide, we'll be talking about that. So now coming to the solution challenge, this is one of the biggest events conducted by GDSC every year. Let me tell you a bit about the solution challenge 2021. So its mission is to solve for one or more of the 17 sustainable development goals of United Nations using Google technologies. Teams of different colleges globally had to register, work on a project, and submit on a specific date. So now moving forward, uh, next slide, please. OK, here we go. So this is how the winners are declared uh, from the participants all over the world. Top 50 teams were selected who received mentorship from Google and other experts to improve and submit a solution from the top prize. Then the qualifying top 10 finalists out of those 50 teams got one year subscription to plural sites and various swags, along with additional customized mentoring from Google, a feature in the Google developers blog and demo day live on YouTube. And finally, the top three winners won all the prizes included in the top 10 category, along with a Chromebook and a coffee chat with a Google executive. Another exciting news is the this year, the uh, team from India back the second place in the solution challenge. Okay, so guys, uh, this was all about the solution challenge. And uh, now I request Avivsha to take over. Thank you. Hello, Avivsha.
Hello. Are you sure you are not audible? Hello. Okay. 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 Yeah. It's yeah. I think you should start now. You're pretty audible now. Okay. Yeah. So I guess uh, Ashish has very well summed up uh, with our uh, event timelines, and he has explained what all events that we are planning up uh, for the uh, to be conducted throughout the year. But one thing that might have been there in all of your minds is that why should you be a part of a community such as uh, Google Developer Student Clubs? So let me clear it out to you that uh, there are various perks and benefits. First of all, you will get to learn how to adapt yourself with your teams. You learn to coordinate and delegate tasks. Then another is that you'll build a community of like-minded people. That is, uh, you'll have uh, you'll have interactions with various uh, individuals, sharing uh, common ideas, and that way you can reshape your opinions in an even better way. Another thing is that uh, you'll definitely get a platform to present yourself and get enough exposure in your preferred domain of interest. Also, you'll get an approach to solve real-world problems and clear out your own concepts by helping others to grow and by clearing others' doubt, you're going to grow yourself. So these are the perks and benefits and that was all about gdsc vssut and uh, what all we have planned for you and uh, it's a matter of pleasure to announce to say that today we have amongst us ms rajrita nath she is the ex gdsc lead at nsec kolkata she is a google women tech maker scholar research intern at ju software engineer at regulatory genome project and is a phenomenal being and today she is going to guide us more about gdsc and share her experience being a part of google developer student clubs over to you rajrita thank you so much abhipsha and the entire team um, from your campus it's been a pleasure looking at how you've presented it's it's really amazing to see um, how it has started to take shape with all of that um thank you so much for having me here once again so um i would have i would want to keep this very casual and very uh, crisp and fast and done um and i'll take it from the last slide that you have why join a community space like that so most of the things that are there in my slide right now or in my profile over there um they've come through the community space and i don't mean to sound um, humble or i don't mean to like promote gdsc as if that's my life aim but it's very true and the fact that i'm over here today is is more like giving back to the community which has helped me grow so much um so when you're coming into a college whether you're in your first year second year whichever year you're in or whichever stage of learning that you're in right now it becomes very important to be surrounded with the right kind of people to build connections and as the entire event goes by to connect and then learn from it and then grow so this place this community gives you exactly that now there might be several tech communities in a tech college of course that is a thing but what gdsc serves its purpose over here is it gives you the opportunity to connect with tech communities all over india and later all over to the world as well so it's not just you sitting with a team of 10 people in your college working on some project but the fact that that project can go out to a uh, developer profile you could have your own uh, developer profile on google or you can showcase your project through events like say solution challenge or even events that your bsc plans and that gets featured from google devs um you'll be able to meet a ton of speakers who comes uh, as mentors as say in certain activities that your team will be having and you get to interact with them so like um through places like this i've been to a lot of dev fest which um again i'll come to the fact of say online and offline environment and what changes that has come right now but it helped me to meet a lot a lot of wonderful people who i never thought would have been so grounded and so humble and so ready and eager to help students like us who are such beginners but it's absolutely mind blowing and spectacular to see how helpful they were going to be to you so whether it is google developer experts it's people of community managers handling programs like uh, gdsc or even say uh, programs which have happened of say explore ml android study jams 
others, etc., etc., so on and so forth. So you get to talk to them one on one on fireside chats. You connect to any of them via LinkedIn, and they reply to you, knowing that you're coming from a community space. And it's more like everybody, uh, most of the people in tech, they do come from spaces like that. So it's also a part of their journey to give back to the place that has happened. So that has been the case, and. Uh, as i said like uh, while building wonderful connections you'll get to understand the projects that they're working on the things that they're doing and you'll be inspired by them when having five people who inspire you you're going to be the average of five and have works of your own and build your own um, specific technical talents and bring them to the table overall it just becomes a system of growth that you'll be a part of and all of that aside, like I had started off my developer, um, you know, a community journey in an offline setup. And I do understand in an online setup, it's a lot more disconnected, where it's just through like a computer and all the online classes are over here. And then this is just another uh, method after that. But even through all of that, I think the most important thing right now is to somehow find ways to connect and to not just restrict it to computer screens and find ways to grow and develop those connections. So like say, for example, the scholarship experience that I had, I to know about it through this community. And then I applied and I don't come from an amazing college, right? It's not a Taiwan college, but uh, in the scholarship that I received, uh, I was one of the 44 scholars and most of them other, like probably 40 others were coming from premium institutes of IITs and NITs. And it was humbling. And also it was like, you get to interact with that circle. And um, to you know have opportunities like that and to build yourself in that way, it's very important that you stay actively connected. It's not just you're attending a session and then you're going back and you're forgetting what happened and then you're back into your own world. Try integrating things like this into your own schedule and your own own timetables because it's not for the benefit of Sia Bipshaw, it's not for the benefit of Google that they're having this community space like this in your campus. Um, find ways to integrate it into your own success journey because I am very sure, and you'll see examples, it's not just me in terms of the people who've done amazing, spectacular things, even remarkable than me. And all of these people come from spaces like this. And um, it's more than inspiring. I would just say we are a lot of examples rather than exceptions, which will help you understand what places like this can, you know, do to transform your journey and to leverage your journey into achieving new heights. Apart from that, if there are any other questions to me, please feel free to ask them. And if you want to connect, I I go by Rajrita, R-A-J-W-R-I-T on any social platform. Um, I'm most active on, say, Twitter or LinkedIn. But yeah, that's my thought. Any questions, I'm here. Yes, Rajrita, we'll be having a Q&A session just after uh, this, uh, after the rest of the slides. Yeah, amazing. That's great. We have it there. Yeah, thank you so much. And you're all, you have always been an inspiration. I watched your last year GDSE sessions and uh, various other uh, tech events that you were a part of. And you have always been an inspiration. And the way you speak and the way you uh, explain things, they are indeed remarkable and it's really a great it's really a privilege to have you among us today thank you so much rajrita thank you so much abhimsha you also are an inspiration it's remarkable to see how amazingly you speak and i wish you all the best for your term ahead you'll do amazing thank you so much rajrita and uh, well proceeding further now we have amongst us harish kumar sahu sir like, as I said, he was stuck with some official work and he uh, could not join in the beginning of the session. But uh, it's a pleasure to have amongst us Harish sir today. So I request Harish sir to speak a few words. Uh, thank you, Abhip sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, sorry for uh, late joining because uh, I was busy in some uh work actually so that's why i joined late so uh, uh, anyway so it's uh, 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 it's a wonderful and uh, uh, very i am really ex uh, happy and that uh, all of our st student members are there showing interest in google uh, st developer student club 
in the previous year it was started uh, uh, and uh, uh, as you know that google is a uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, the platform is a premier platform in developing apps and uh, uh, developing your uh, skill set uh, who are actually have some enthusiasm some interest in uh, the software development and the app development and uh, they have a good programming skill so it's a, it's a very nice platform to uh, learn something and to explore something and also to interact with the experts from uh, google and uh, th there are also experienced student members uh, in this uh, uh, developer club so definitely they will assist you th those who are joining new particularly i'm telling about the first year students uh, th those who are showing interest in this uh, domain uh, so the uh, senior members also they will assist that uh, how they can develop their uh, expertise their skill set and uh, more, moreover actually most importantly as you are associated with google and it is a kind of academic program from on behalf of google to set up the google developer student clubs all over the uh, world and particularly in india also there are many universities and institutes they have this, such kind of clubs and uh, this will definitely provide a uh, interactive platform to uh, develop your programming skill and also uh, the app development skill so in future uh, also you can uh, organize as uh, they sequentially they have expressed they explained that uh, throughout the year because it's a one year program so throughout the year what are the uh, uh, sequential events those will be uh, held and also uh, previous year they uh, as i participated in one of the interactive program from the uh, officials of google so they are uh, also organizing some kind of hackathon also so uh, national level hackathon to uh, so that uh, the uh, the student can showcase their talent so i hope definitely this year also uh, abipsa uh and uh, the uh, ankit and so many I, I can see because uh, uh so many first year students because due to this corona pandemic so physical meeting and physical orientation was not possible so this kind of online platform will help to uh, to interact with the uh, these uh, freshers so the first year students will uh, join actually in near future also who are in i think they are continuing first year so i think ethic is here actually uh, in the previous year uh, he was handling uh, this time uh, i think abipsa uh, you will handle right yes sir okay yes, sir. so uh, just um, uh, guide uh, them uh, in the right track uh, so so that uh, uh, they will be in their uh, when they will uh, even they will pass out also and uh, when they uh, will show their profile being a google uh, member from google developer and they have developed something and they are associated with google it will definitely beneficial uh, in future uh, prospective also so i hope uh, uh, this club will definitely prosper again uh, in future and they will it will come out with some kind of uh, app or some kind of application which will be really beneficial to the society also because whatever you are doing there is uh, inherently some societal cause is there so it will be ultimately you are doing something for the benefit of the society in some way so thank you so all the best uh, for the this uh, google uh, developer club thank you once again over to abhishek uh, thank you so much sir and uh, we are really grateful to you uh, that you support student activities in such an uh, with such an encouraging and uh, motivating attitude and uh, you are you have been an inspiration for all of us out here today and thank you for all the support that you have given to us uh, thank you abhi sir i once again because you are you are calling calling me but i you know that i am joining late so again i am sorry for that Oh, okay thank you no no sir no issues so we completely understand these things are not in our hands and things at times go really unpredictable so it's completely fine sir okay okay thank you thank you thank you so much sir so moving ahead
um, as we have, as you all know, the ones those who are attending our juniors, you've already, uh, you were already instructed about the uh, Google Developer Student Clubs and VSSUT's uh, chapter page. I once again tell you about this page. For, uh, like you have to join our chapter page following two simple rules that is click on the join us button enter your details and give you will be added as a member of gdsc vssut where you will be getting email notifications for all our recent updates and the activities that we are planning to conduct so i request all of you to join us on the chapter page also just after the event, you will be sent a member badge code that uh, you can redeem by clicking on it and a Google Developer Student Club's uh, member badge will be added to your profiles. So just after the session, we'll be sending you, we'll be notifying you with a badge code and you can redeem your member badge. Well, that's all about GDSC VSS UT Porta. Now we come back to the Q&A session where if you have any question in your mind, even the silliest of doubts, you can uh, put forth it in the chat box and we are there to clarify it. We have Rajrita amongst us and we have the other GDSC uh, cabinet members to clear out your queries. So mention all the queries that you have in the chat box. Okay, someone in the uh, chat box uh, has asked that uh, in the campaigns, what all activities will be done? The question is from uh, Lalit Kumar. Rashita, you would like to take up the question? Um, yeah, sure. Give me a minute. Uh, could you tell me the question once again? Yeah, sure. In the campaigns, what all activities will be done? Okay, so... Um, According to if I go with the last year, what has happened? So we've had campaigns like the Google Cloud program, then we've had uh, the Android Study Jam program. Most of the resources are provided by Google Devs themselves. So they have like curated content. Um, and following that content, you could build applications on the cloud, or you could build applications using their Android platform, and then have apps, and then get those apps um, maybe featured in Google Devs if they're exceptionally well. So, um, and similarly, this year there might be different campaigns. So, like a year previous to that, when we had, um, I think the program was called Explore ML. So, that was along similar lines, but it was on machine learning. So, similarly, every year the um, campaign ideas and the uh, new technologies that come in that differs from here and there. Apart from that, we also sometimes what we did in our campus specifically, and it happens via all of the other campuses having a GDSC, is we have events absolutely brainstormed by our own selves. So, like um, we had a program called Winterf Code, which got sponsored by Google Devs themselves and other other uh, sponsors like Manning Publications, and we've had a um, few other and um, of course there were the mentors over there were google developer experts they were gsoc students they were uh, what is it called the ECMA, mlh students over there google scholars of civil and tech makers so they were mentors so it was like a google summer of code program but a mock-up of that in winter so that it gets students prepared for winter uh, when gsoc applications start and every year when this happens a lot of students from that batch get selected into gsoc because of uh, the mentorship that is received there and it's more like a you know like a mock thing happening before the actual storm starts so similarly my point here is um 
exactly what events are going to come up in an entire year it becomes very difficult for us to summarize and be like okay exactly these are the things that are going to come up this is what you get this is what you can do perform etc it's more like you stay in this community and you and you see and in fact um, this community is also a very inclusive place which respects your ideas and your opinions and thoughts so if you feel that this is something i want um, maybe a tech session on say competitive coding or uh, maybe something on uh, the software developer journey or if you're curious about knowing whether through engineering is it just into sd environments or there are other other uh, um, facets of career that you could get into to knowing all of that and i'm very sure that your gdsc will be able to think about those thoughts and think about what the audience wants wants and caters the content according to that so it's a two way environment um yeah so i think that it's Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Rajita. So now we have a question: uh, How can GDSC be helpful for uh, non-IT students? Uh, okay. So, I'm sure you like to answer this. Sure, Ashish. So, uh, first of all, let me tell you that GDSE is not branch specific. It uh, it isn't like that. Uh, only CS or IT students can be a part of it. Say, for example, even in our uh, core team, even in our GDSE cabinet, we have students from diverse branches, be it from mechanical, be it from production. So, basically, there are no requisites. We have uh, we have beginners. Uh, we have events for beginners, intermediates. followed up uh, till the advanced level so there is no restriction to learning and uh, one can easily uh, one can easily learn if one has the vigor if one has the curiosity to learn whatever he or she wishes for so it so nothing here is restricted to only the core csc or it uh, related branches uh, students from any branch can uh, can learn anything they wish for also we have the discord channel you you or the interested ones can definitely suggest us more ideas and they can come up with even more suggestions or events that they want help in or they want us to conduct for them so uh, that will be really great okay thank you absha so coming to next question uh, what are the prerequisites for the google events to be organized okay so let me answer this so uh being a part of gdsc actually you don't need to uh, worry about how the events are going to organize because it's the core team who, who will be organizing all kind of uh, events so you need to just uh, uh be prepared with some basic knowledge about programming you need to just be pro- prepared at least about one language that you prefer to Uh, code with and you can contribute with many events as you wish and you can explore uh, many things during these events so that's it okay so moving to the next question is gda confined to programming so i request rajita can you uh, speak some thing about this question sure Um, yeah. So no, uh, GDSC is not confined to programming. It's anything that comes regarding tech. All of it together is under one umbrella over here. So you don't have to worry about if, say, programming is not specifically something that you want to do. Maybe there are a lot of other things for you. So as I said, like it can be something along lines of development or something more along lines of, say, if you want to get into competitive coding or if you want to get into, say, program manager roles and how that helps and that works out great. if you're getting into research big roles where say higher studies is something you're aiming for i'm pretty sure you'll have you'll have sessions inside your gdsc or in fact in other gdscs also uh, which you get to know through the community space so yeah there's something here for everybody you don't have to be restricted into one box okay thank you rajita so moving forward the next question is uh, for machine learning course is there uh, providing python training also okay abhishek would you like to answer this now i would pass it on to rajrita again rajrita could you please take up this question sure so uh, sometimes what happens is in terms of cloud also or in terms of android the lab from my dsc campus there are a few python series where what's in machine learning taking sessions and it starts from the very beginning so you explore those videos and get 